What's up, Madden 17 fans? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to today's video. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be breaking down a blitz that you probably saw in the Madden Classic. I kind of want to share a little bit about it, uh, why it works, why it's good, why you might want to consider using it from time to time. And uh, the playbook we're actually in is the Oakland Raiders defensive playbook, I'm pretty sure. And But you can find this out of anything, really. I run it from nickel 245. Some people run it from nickel normal. Personally, I think it's probably best from nickel normal. Um, and you can find nickel normal in multiple different playbooks. Uh, and I was going to share this earlier in the year. I just haven't gotten around to showing it. Uh, but I saw it in the Madden Classic, so I thought it might be good to just share it with you guys to kind of give you guys some insight into what like the top players are doing. So really what it really comes down to is sending a blitz out of cover two. And there's about three to five blitzes that are really effective this season. And so they're really kind of limited. But this one comes out of the nickel normal. And this is what Problem was doing. I don't know if you guys know uh, – if you guys watch problem at all but but again this he's probably the best player that ever played really in doubt um and and so anyways what i want to do is share with you this play right here so it's nickel blitz two it's in the nickel normal now what you could do is you could run it flipped i personally prefer to run it flipped because it looks very similar to the four three under um there's a video that zan did earlier on in the year that talked about the nickel normals being one of the best defenses to come out in uh, and I'll try to leave a link in the uh, description of that video. And I'll also leave a link to the tournament uh, where Problem ran this. But basically what I want to do is just share with you. I, you for, for some reason in practice mode, I don't think you can flip it. But in the game, you can flip it. So just run everything to the opposite side um, for two reasons. Number one, it looks like 4 three under. Number two, uh, I think it works better because it makes a rollout to the left side. And most quarterbacks are right-handed. But anyways, here's the blitz. So basically what you want to do is you want to put... Um, you know, good pass rushers on, on the blitzing side, and we're going to blitz from the left here. So you want to basically, you want to base a line, you want to press, you want to shift your linebackers to the right. It's going to give you a balanced look, pinch your line, and then you want to crash your line um, to the left side. Now, that's pretty much it. It's set up from that point. I like to pass commit just so it comes in if they run play action. And you'll see here we should get some pressure off that left edge. And it's just a basic overload principle. There's really nothing complicated about it. But what I really want to talk about and what makes this blitz really good is the fact that you can drop some people into coverage. So the setup will be in the description for you. But um, what we'll do here, and, and this is where I think this blitz kind of becomes next level, is if we spy this left of screen defensive tackle, we can drop this right of screen defensive tackle. We can put him in a deep blue. I like That's what I like to do. Um, but you can put him in anything you want. Um, you know, you can fake blitz him, whatever you want to do. I like to put him in a deep blue zone. Remember, I'm going to be usering Bruce Irvin here, and so I'm going to jump, jump to this uh, route here. So what I also like to do is in case they're running like, uh, you know, Z-spot post routes or things like that, I'll man this guy up. Whoops, looks like I don't know if we went off sides or what happened. But I'll man up this guy right here on somebody. Um, normally it's going to be on someone to the left side of the screen because it's gonna give me that cross man. So what I like to do is maybe, especially in passing situations, substitute in someone here that has really good man coverage or really good uh, speed. And then uh, you'll just use her with this guy. And what you'll see here is pretty much the way this is designed to work is I'm gonna basically play it like kind of almost like a purple zone uh, into, that right, into that right side seam. Uh, and you'll see the blitz. Normally it comes in a little better than that. It didn't come in quite, quite clean there. Um, sometimes if you if you're standing at the line of scrimmage for a long time it won't come in the other thing that makes this blitz really good is the coverage routes that the corners are on so if you noticed um, the corners are in what's called soft squat zones those are kind of like the best zones um, for cover two those are really really effective zones because you can't really create them um, they just have to come into play and they do a really good job for the most part. So there you can see there's the blitz coming through clean uh, off that left edge. Now, a quick little uh, side note to this is that there's a very good cover. I like to run coverage principle off of this as well. So what I'll do is occasionally I'll change it up and say that say I may want to run coverage, uh, a variable. Well, I'll go to Tampa 2. Uh, that's the cover 2 audible. And then say, make it look exactly the same, okay? But what we're going to do now is we're going to try to kind of let these guys go on the right side. And then we're just going to do the same basic setup, except now we're going to have a Tampa 2 coverage in behind it. 
and they don't know the difference. Next thing you know, he try, tries to force something quick, and we've got all kinds of coverage. So that's kind of the, the thought process behind this. And the cool part about this defense is that it's actually fairly good against the run because you have gap integrity. Um, there's somebody in every single gap, A gap, B gap, C gap, um, and plus you have a user defender that you can shoot the gaps with. So that's the, that's what makes this defense fairly effective in my opinion. So you might check it out, uh, problem ran it. I personally normally run with the 4-3 under, um, but I just wanted to share this with you guys because um, I think it's actually a very effective way to play defense in this year's game. So. Uh, if you guys like this video, be sure to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more tips. And also, if you have any questions or suggestions for future content, let me know, and, uh, and I'll do my best to, uh, to share it with you guys. Thanks, guys.